Okay, so for today, uh, what I'm going to do on my channel is I'm going to take apart this uh, PC point of sale system. It's a um, point of sale system IBM uh, 4694. Uh, so I've never taken one of these apart before and we'll see what's in it. So as I say, from the front of it you can see it's just a floppy on the front of it. Um, that's about it. There doesn't seem to be much to it. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the cover if I can. So we can see there's a few screws here. So we'll start by uh, taking out them screws is the, the most obvious thing to do on it. Um, also anyone that hasn't already subscribed to my channel, uh, please if you could subscribe I would really appreciate that. Um, at the moment I have 40 or 50 subscribers I think so if I can get a few more subscribers that would be great um, to the channel so we'll just take out these screws here so I'm just going to remove these screws along here so there's no point in um, you watching me remove the screws so I'll just pause it I'll come back when I have these screws removed and we'll move on to the next stage Okay, so we removed the screws now, so my next job is, uh, I'm going to do is just remove the top of the case here. So, I should remove the case. Okay, so that's just a case, nothing to it. A bit of plastic. Uh, we'll have a look and see if we can locate where we can take apart from next. Um, So here at the back, um, I can see there's a few screws here as well. So I'll remove the screws here at the back. Um, so we can see the screws along here. Uh, I'll remove these screws. Um, that's just a, a cover there. A plate, there's nothing that's not holding anything in. Um, so I'll remove that and see can I get the, the rest of this case and removed. Uh, we have another screw up here on top. So I'll remove that screw as well. Uh, so when I've done that, we'll come back to it again. Okay, so I've removed any visible screws that I can see there on it. Um, so what I'm going to try now to do next is to release these clips uh, around the side. Um, so we seem to have a few little clips holding things in place. So we'll try and use a chisel here to um, get in around it and see if I can pry the side far away from the rest of the base came off fairly easy there, not too bad, and try and get a better view so you can see what I'm doing. So what I'm doing is just putting a chisel, chisel in any space I see and trying to just lift away from the um, actual body. So down here I can see there's a, down here at this side I can see there's another clip gone in there. So we try and get in under that clip if we can. Screwdriver, something a bit smaller. So okay, so that now has released the case, and we can get a quick look inside. So uh, straight away, I can see some RAM. So we'll have a look at this and see. Okay, so that seems to be uh, silver. Uh, silver plate of RAM, so again there should be a little bit of gold hopefully inside these IC chips. So, not to ever start, we've got two little bits of, of RAM on it. Um, looking very quickly I can see um, IC chips, um, four-sided uh, flat pack IC chips, I can see uh, two-sided IC chips um, there as well. Uh, so what I'll do now is I'll remove these screws along here. So this will take off this bar any other visible screws I see I'll take them off so I can get access into the board and we can get a better look at the board So I'll pause it there till I remove them screws and we'll come back when Okay, so I've removed um, the bar that was going across here So it's just straightforward just took that out so that gives me access a bit more access into the uh, board So uh, we'll have a look here. We seem to have a slot card of some sort so let's see if we can release that slot card out of here. There we go. So, oh, that's not too bad. Some nice um, gold fingers along here. So that's that's a nice little find. So that's a nice little uh, find there inside of that board. So that um, so it's a nice 
finger card. Uh, again, there possibly be gold pins inside of here. So when we remove everything from there, eventually when I'm depopulating these boards a bit more, um, we can see what's inside there. But for the moment, I've got a nice little fingerboard, a little crystal, crystal oscillator, some IC chips on it again, which will contain gold. So that's not too bad. Um, I'll just connect this floppy. So I'll see if we can get this floppy out. another screw over here if we can remove that it might release the floppy no that won't release the floppy Again, we have a little um, ribbon connector. Uh, again, there would be gold pins inside of here. So we can add that to our collection of gold pins at a later date. Okay, so we have another screw inside of here on the board. Ribbon connectors here at the back. Um, so another some sort of connection there as well. Okay, so um, board, a lot of IC chips on this board. You can see a lot of IC chips here. If I can get try and release this board if, if I can. Um, okay. Somewhere. Slightly awkward here now with the amount of room I have for trying to release these. It's very tight. One, two out. Let me get the third one out. Okay, so that has released my released my board. So as we can see here from the board, uh, we have a lot of a lot of IC chips. Um, some nice processing IC chip there. I'd say that's probably one of the main IC chips on it. Again, a lot of these will contain gold. So again, when I when I remove these from the board, uh, as you can see in previous videos, how I remove them using a heat gun. So if you haven't already seen how I do, just look back on some of the previous videos, um, and you'll see where I've used a heat gun to remove these chips uh, very quickly. So it makes it easy when you have a board with a lot of chips to use a heat gun. Um, again. The heat gun I can use to remove these pins here as well. So by using the heat gun on the back to loosen solder, that will release the pins down, um, and we can we can get them them removed as well. So they they're all gold plated pins, gold plated pins. Uh, I can see in here that these are they look like silver connected, not gold connected. So they look like they have silver connections on the ends of them. Uh, again, it might be tin. Uh, in future videos, I'll show you how to test um, an item whether it's silver. So again, like. I'll show you how to test this to see if this is silver or is just a tin that's there on it. Uh, some of these will have silver, some will just have tin on them. So I can use show you how I test it for that. Uh, so that board, fairly decent board, a lot of IC chips. Uh, looking at it there, good 20, 30 IC chips on that board. Um, between small, big IC chips. Um, we seem to have more gold pins, gold pins. Um, Again, they'll just be silver connections inside of here. Uh, again, we'd have uh, gold, gold inside these IC chips. Um, so not too bad of a board. Uh, more gold pins down on here. Um, again, on these connections here, you'll have gold plating on the um, where your internet connections, your LAN connections, um, any of them sort of cable connections in them would usually have gold gold pins on them as well, gold coated pins. So that board, all in all, is quite a decent board. Um, as I say before in all my videos, 
if the item is working, you will probably get more money selling a working item on eBay than you will from scrapping it out. The scrap value of any item is the lowest value you're going to get for it. So just um, remember that when you're scrapping out. So what we're left with then, essentially on the board, is we have, or on the uh, inside of the unit, we have the RAM. Again, there will be gold pins connected, oh, not the RAM, the um, floppy disk. There will be gold pins connected onto the back of that. So I can see them here, I can see the gold gold pins inside of here. I'll see if I can get this out. It just seems to, it's very awkward where it is to, to remove it. I need to strip down this a bit further um, to get access into it. Um, yeah, so to get access into that, to get them, I'm gonna to have to remove this unit here. So if I can see if I can remove this unit. This seems to be the main battery unit, the power supply. Okay, so that came out straightforward, just slide it out, that's um, your main transformer unit, to your power supply. Um, so again, like in a PC, P, uh, PC, you have your power supply, so that's your, your power supply unit on that one. And uh, still hasn't given me enough access to get to, to get in here um, to remove this floppy. So I have to try and pry both of these sections away from each other if I can. There's clips holding them in. If I can remove them from each other, I might be able to get access then to the floppy. Yeah, that has given me the access I needed to get into that floppy. So again, I can just um, remove that floppy now from its casing. Okay, so that's just giving me the access I needed to get in there. So again, in the floppy, um, you'll have gold connecting pins here on the on the rear of it. You'll have a little uh, little board, little electronic board inside of there as well, not of high grade value or anything like that. Um, just a just a little board. So um, I put that with my floppies and my uh, disk drives and all that that I have to process at a later stage. Um, I'll show you a video on that hopefully in the future and how I do that. So from this um, unit that I just took apart. We've got one floppy, uh, we've got power supply, we've got some uh, ca connections, cable connections, stuff like that here. Again, they are, um, possibly have gold pins inside of them, but I can't really get access to, to look at them at the moment. Um, we have a nice um, slot card. So again, that's nice gold pins. Um, even, to, even they're just running the screwdriver along it, I can feel them. So they're quite thick coated uh, gold pins, which is nice to get on both sides. So that's that's a lot thicker coating than what you'll find on the RAM nowadays, uh, or even on the slot cards uh, from the newer PCs. So that's that's a nice nice little find there on it. Um, again, we'll have, I have two RAM sticks, uh, which will have IC chips and also a little bit of silver, hopefully on them there as well. So again, I'll process them up my silver. Um, and a board which contains a lot of um, IC chips, um, a couple of uh, crystal crystal oscillators as well. You can see one here. Um, so that's that's a fairly decent board. Very happy with that board. Um, so once I remove all the IC chips from it, uh, remove the gold pins from it, um, and add them to the collection I have. So uh, that's much the same as what you'll find in most PCs as well. You'll have your main board. You'll have your um, your IC chips, you'll have your RAM, you'll have your slot cards. You'll also mainly have a, your CPU um, as well, which just doesn't, doesn't seem to have a separate CPU that you can pull off. Um, this one, I presume, is the CPU of this this device um, here. Um, advanced micro devices, so that's probably an AMD, I'm presuming, an AMD, um, Windows 90, Windows 95 chip it's in on that. So that's that's probably the main processing chip on this one. Uh, it's a Windows 95 chip. Um, AMD uh, Advanced Micro Devices. 
So nearly enough chip. So again, to cut that off, I'd use a chisel, or I can you could use your um, you could use your heat gun, as you can see in the previous videos. This is just another way of doing removing them. So I just I run the chisel down along it till I break the um, legs on it on all four sides. Sometimes you don't even have to do all four sides. You can get two of them done. That's it. So that removes the um, chip from the board for me. We'll just get a closer look at it. Yeah, this way around. So that's the chip there. So um, it's very hard to see it with the light shining on it, with the reflective um, tag on it. But it says uh, Windows 95 Advanced Micro Devices um, AMD. So that's an AMD chip. Um, again, most of these will have gold bonding wires inside of them. So I'll process that with the rest of my IC chips when I'm doing it. And hopefully there's a nice little bit of gold, nice bit of weight to that. So again, if you wanted to remove any of them chips that way that I just showed, it's just with the chisel. Move it along down, break the leg contacts with the board, and then just put the chisel, once you've done two sides usually, you can get the chisel in underneath, and that will allow you to break off the rest of the rest of the, the chip. So, uh, thanks for watching the video, that's kind of all I'm going to be doing on this video today. Uh, future videos, hope to be doing a proper uh, full PC at some stage um, to show you how to remove the, um, the what chips are inside them, what gold um, is on them. Um, I also have a few Nintendos there that I want to um, want to take apart to see what sort of gold content we have in them. Um, that's mainly it. I have uh, routers, network um, devices to see what what's inside the um, network network switch. Um, switches to see if there's anything much gold inside a network switch um, and that's about it so please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already subscribed please subscribe to the channel a lot of people just come look at the channel whatever if you've come and found this channel subscribe to it and um, that's all i'll ask you to do uh, you can see here as well actually well, we're just on some nice gold pins here uh, they're nice thick thick coated uh, gold pins which is a nice little find as well on this so this is an older older uh, device it's um, a PC that was used I'd say in a shop or something like that um, it, it's, it's it's like a point of sale unit I think is what they call them the IBM point of sale units so uh, nice little find some nice chips inside it so thanks for watching and um, if you like subscribe comment let me know what you want me to scrap out if there's any particular device you've come across you want me to scrap it out to see if I can work out what gold is in it what what's a value um, if you've scrapped out anything like this, um, if you see there's something more valuable or something that I'm overestimating, saying there's a, it's, it's, it's really good or, and you think it's not, just let me know um, and we'll, we'll go from there. Thanks a lot and keep watching.